Hi guys, welcome in statistics for science students. Uh, today we are just giving a very elementary introductory introduction to statistics for science. First of all, we have statistics. Two types of statistics, right? The one we are going to study in the summer course, which is the university requirement, they call it descriptive st statistics. Descriptive. And the other one, which uh, the dance student, inshallah, will take it in the first semester next year, academic year, it, it is called inferential. So what is the difference between the descriptive statistics and the inferential statistics? The descriptive from the name, I know. What does it mean, descriptive? It means I just give uh, the characteristics, property of each stuff. So the descriptive, you should have to know how to collecting data. Next, how to tabloid or grouping data. Grouping may, data, it means put it in a table. Okay. And then you give a graph, you graph the data. This is why they call it what? They call it descriptive. Fine. Also, you have some find some basic parameters. What did they call it? The parameters. They call it two type central tendency. Measurement, اللي هي بالعربي كده مقاييس النزعة المركزية. And this version measurement. In details, we will have everything from this one. This is all what you are going to do in this uh, summer course, inshallah, and it will be easy. Especially, I'm not going to ask you to solve by hand. The main point of studying statistics is to know what is the point of this one. What is the meaning of the concept? Okay. What, what, is, what is the point of studying this one? Okay. So, you have to know the main concepts of everything. Now we know the descriptive statistics. Inshallah, whoever I will see, inshallah, next semester in, in Biostat for dance students, I'll go for the inferential statistics. بالعربي بسموها الإحصاء الاستدلالية. This is concerned with what? With the relation between variables not only the relation and also comparing samples not only comparing sample only just testing hypothesis testing This is inshallah will be in uh, in the biostat and all stat in business. But the main point in your course is this one. Also in this one, this is a basic for the inferential one, right? So if you know the basic one, more important than go and escape this one and go for the inferential one. Easy. Let's go for to know 
we know we have two types of statistics, right? So we know statistics. How many types? Two types. The first one is descriptive. And the other one is inference. Okay, we have done this one. Now, as I said, you have to collect the data to do statistics. So I will go for the data. The data also two types, right? You have quantitative data. And you have the other one, qualitative data. Okay, what is qualitative data? دي بيسموها البيانات الوصفية qualitative data like what? like for my students, for the institution, they are dense, right? okay so I'm describing someone I say they're dense for the engineer, I'm saying the engineer, right? So to describe someone or jobs, so it is called what? It is called qualitative. Okay, if I go for color, yellow, white, red, all of these ones also, not only jobs, colors also are qualitative. I have different type from these ones. I have level of education. If I go, I have high school, right? And then I have a university graduate and I have postgraduate. Okay. So all of this one, this is the call it level of education. So this is a level of education. Uh -huh. So I can sort it down. So this is one that this is a lower one. This is above this one. This is above one. So I can order this one. If I make the reverse order, I have postgraduate. I have university graduate. I have high school, right? So I have to pause this one to switch off my mobile. There again, I'm recording. Okay, so we know the qualitative data, two types. Type, this one, I call it nominal. And this one, they call it ordinal. Why ordinal? Because I can order them, right? So the qualitative data has two types of measurement, nominal and ordinal. Ismi. Urutabi, the local Arabic. Okay, I finish the quantitative data. What about the qualitative, the quantitative data? I finish the qualitative data. I go for quantitative data. Yes, from the name quantity. Quantity means what? If I go for the weight, I go for the length. I go for what? Age. Okay. All of this one has measurement, right? So the age you can go for years. Okay. Length you can go for meter or inches. Okay. Weight you can go for kilogram or gram. Okay. So I have a measurement here and I have a number. And not only this number. The quantitative data also has two types. Discrete. And continuous. So what is the difference? If you are discrete, it means you have a gap, right? 
the number of pages so the number of pages page number one page number two you haven't heard about page number 1.3 or 1.5 so you have a gap you have a gap and page number three also you have a gap here so once you have a gap between your data right you call it what discrete okay but when you don't have no gaps especially when you have to have the distance between a to b right so you have the scale from here zero up to the length of this one right so you if you stop here you can measure it if you stop anywhere you can measure it so it's called what continuous right so I have to know all of this one. I have to distinguish again as a summary. I have to go for my data. Okay. The data, two types, qualitative and quantitative. Okay. Once I go for qualitative, I know I have two types of data here. Nominal and ordinal. Nominal, mana ismi. Ordinal, mana rutabi. Yani mungkin ashya tetratab. Level of education is ordinal. But colors, nominal. Because you cannot order the colors, right? Okay. I finish the qualitative. I rough for quant quantitative. I get right color just to attract you the quantitative as i said it is quantity right or you can say number numeric okay or i go for quantitative yes it is quantitative but i can go for discrete or continuous okay if it is discrete it means you have gaps right one two three but if it is continuous between one and two are linked together also linked to three so here yeah, gaps here yeah, no gaps between data right so i finish the type of data okay now i go for measurement scale measurement again as i said the measurement scale the first one is nominal the second one are ordinal This is for what? Can anyone let me know? This is for which data? Which type of data for this one? Qualitative. Excellent. For qualitative. Excellent. Now, I'll go for the measurement. I call it, uh, first of all, I, go, I call it interval. What does it mean interval? Uh, any one of you got IELTS or TOEFL? Hello? Any one of you got uh, IELTS tests? Yes, doctor, yes. Yes. When you got the IELTS test, you have four sections, right? Yes. Each section has 10 marks, okay? Yeah, I guess. When you add all of this one and divide it by four, you find your score is sometimes less than this one, right? Yes. This is why, because they have interval. They're having what? Interval. So, have you heard about IQ? Yes. Okay. The IQ, the IELTS, 
all of this one all of this one are interval right not only this one do you know the temperature the temperature yes yes all of this one they call what is the significant of this one here was zero does not mean nothing right you see what i mean yes yes صفر هنا يعني مش معناه العدم the zero it doesn't mean nothing because you have zero temperature what does it mean zero temperature you mean you you don't have any feeling of the temperature no and you have another zero if you're using uh, Celsius or using Fahrenheit the zero is different right this is the point of the interval so how I can get the other one the last one of measurement I go for ratio the difference between interval and ratio here zero means nothing okay we get the very popular example the temperature and here if you go for the weight if you go for the length if you go for age zero means nothing correct this is what this is the measurement scale okay this is the measurement scale so when you scaling scale you have to know for the qualitative data you have two scales nominal and ordinal okay i will show you something in the excel if you, you open the excel or open spss you will see three different uh, icons for all of this one right i'm already having spss file here for some research i will show you they have three different icons for the variable this is the spss do you see this one this is the nominal can you see it this is the three circles okay with three colors they call it nominal data right and you have all the data okay so i will show you what is the variable of this one go for the gender the gender is called what nominal why nominal because you cannot order them right you cannot say male before the female or the female before the, the male so it is not ordinary it is not number you cannot add uh, male to plus female or male plus male and get something new no this is why they call it nominal so it's just description for the case but the the ordinal like education level the education level right when you make a coding for the data you can order them uneducated person less than secondary school secure secondary school university level master or phd so yes i can order them so even using software you have to distinguish between three types of data also the mini tab we are going to use they having the same one so this is uh, a common icons for the three different variables you you said what is the ratio what is the interval here right I said the ratio and the interval included in the scale. Do you see what I mean? Okay. This is the point of having different type of measurement. And we will see why we have different and how we can deal with, with each type of this data. So we know the three types of, uh, four types of scale two for the quantitative data okay and two for the quantitative data but the icons in the software excel or spss or minitab they have only three icons one for the nominal one for the ordinal and only one for the quantitative data both ratio 
or interval. What is the difference between the ratio and the interval? The meaning of the zero, right? So this is the main point. Okay. Next, I will ask you a question and tell me this variable is what? If I'm asking you to number page number. So I can call this one what? What type of data this one? Uh, discrete. What is the data type, quantitative or qualitative? Quantitative. Excellent. Quantitative data. But this is a variable, right? This variable, I can call it what? As you said, discrete, right? So we finish this one, right? Okay. So if it is quantitative, then a beige number, you can call it nominal or ordinal, okay? Or ratio or interval. What is the measurement for this one? Anyone can answer, even if it is wrong. Doctor, it is nominal. Nominal, yes. Why it is nominal? This is a number. This beige number is, is a number, but it's just give indication for the beige, right? But the beige number is ordered, right? Okay. So this one is what? Is ordinal. Okay. Okay. Because the beige number in each box is ordered, right? So if I call it nominal, yes. If I have only one beige, right? So it is yes, it is nominal. But when I have from beige so to beige so, it will be what? Ordinal number, right? Okay. If I go for the weight. This weight. What type of data is the weight? Quantitative or qualitative? Quantitative. Excellent. Quantitative. What is the measurement of this one? Meter or inch? I mean measure scale, ratio or interval? Ratio. Why is ratio? Because the zero doesn't matter. Zero means nothing, right? Yes. If you have zero weight, it means you have nothing to weight, right? Excellent. I'll go for another one. Colors. What type of data the color? Quantitative or qualitative? Quantitative. Excellent. Okay, what is the measurement of this one? Ordinal or nominal? Excellent, nominal. Yes, it is quantitative data, but it is exactly, it is nominal, right? Okay, so we finish and we know how to scale this one. Do you have a scale for this one? The scale is, this is a scale. Scale, nominal scale, right? But it is, the type yeah. is quantitative data. Okay. Catch it. This is the main point of the statistics. You have to know the, the, the you. Flat type. What is type of the data type of this one? Nominal. Nominal, excellent. So it is quantitative or qualitative? Quantitative. لا, yes, qu qualitative. Mission. Qualitative. Why is it qualitative? You cannot count them. Okay. You cannot add blood type A plus blood type B. 
and you get a new one, right? So this is qualitative. What is the scale measure for this one? No minute. Excellent. Okay, excellent. Okay. This is the main point of today. I would like you to know what is the statistics type, how many types of statistics we have. I have to add this one. So you have a population. If you have the population, this one, right? If you have any piece inside this one, so this one, they call it what? Sample, right? So the sample is a piece of population, right? Yes. Yes. So we know. Can you give me example of population and sample of this population? Stat student, right? Statistics science. Students. Summer student. And not only summer, this is summer and male. And winter. Okay, not the winter. <laughs> Science, okay. Male students, right? This is my population. I would like to take a sample for this one. I will take the engineering student, right? Yes. If I take uh, dance students, it's still a sample, right? Yeah. And if we have the rest, they will be outside. If you accumulate all of this one, okay, add them together, you have the population, right? So this is the population, which is the statistic students in the summer course, okay? And I can get a sample of this one, like classify them into categories, or I can take the random sample. This is what we are going to do. But at least now, you have to know that the sample is a subset of the population. Catch it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's activate some package in the Excel. So open the Excel, right? Right click in the toolbar. You have customize quick access toolbar, right? Choose it, please. Click it. You will have such window. In the left hand side section, choose add ends, right? Once you click on add ends, the window will be changed in the right hand side. You will have analysis tool back, right? Don't click OK, click Go. Can you click Go now? Yeah. You will have a new window like this one, right? This is the hidden packages in the Excel. I use the first package for and the second one for statistics. I use the third one and the fourth one for business students, right? Yeah. So please click the first one. And now you can click OK. دكتور في الماك مش ظاهر لي اللي حضرتك فتحته دلوقتي ده. Okay, I will check. I will check here. I, uh, my wife has a Mac, and I will check it. I make recording for you, and I send it for, to you. But just send. Okay. Give me your number, please. Your ID number. Uh, 2016, دولا ماك تمام دكتور انا بعد تفضل 2000 وكم؟ 2019 نعم 187 لا 87 187 تمام دكتور انا كمان من... كم رقمك يا ابني؟ 2019 نعم 119 100. دكتور هذا اللي على اللابتوب على ماك؟ لا اللي على ماك نعم اللي على ماك لان شركه ابل للاسف يعني صعبه شوي فلازم تشتري الحاجة مش ما ينفعش تستخدم أي كراكت 
سوفت وير تمام فانا ان شاء الله راح اشوف هذا كيف تمشي ازاي عندهم على الماك ما. طيب آه خلاص روح حط الكيرسل على داتا كده يا شباب اللي عمل الكلام ده معايا اللي ظهر على اليمين كده كلمة داتا أناليسيس تمام؟ اللي ما ظهرتش عنده يقول لي بقى. ظهرت؟ ظهر الدكتور. ظهرت يا شباب ولا ما ظهرتش؟ موجودة موجودة؟ ايش هذا؟ الداتا اناليسيس دي لا مش هتظهر عندك غير لما تحط الكيرسر على الداتا مش عندك فايل هوم وانسيرت وبيج وفورمولا وبعديها داتا؟ ايوه اللي وات يو هاف دان اكتيفيتي اكتيفيشن فور ويل بي ان ذا رايت هاند سايد بات يو هاف تو بوت ذا كيرسر ان ذا داتا رايت؟ اوكي So you will have data analysis. What is this data analysis for? Also for biostatistics, inshallah, next uh, semester. If you click in data analysis, yes, look at this one. Everything in statistics, you have it here. This is descriptive statistics, right? Okay, click, click OK. What do you have here? You have something called summary statistics, right? But I have to get some data here. I'm just typing anything here. Okay. Yes, you cannot type. Let's just get rid of this one. I give any number here. Okay. Okay, that's enough. I'll go for data analysis. I'll go for descriptive. Click OK. I'm just shading my data, right? My data was in a column or rows. It was in a column, so I choose column, right? I have a label for the column or I don't. I don't have label here. If I have label, I say this is uh, currency or income or something, so I have to take this one. If I don't, no need to take it, right? Also, I have to get the result of this one where? In new worksheet or in out page range, in output range. I will Put the cursor here, right? Otherwise, it will delete the previous one. So put the cursor here, okay? And click anywhere. I'll click anywhere here. Let me just press okay. Okay. So yes, I didn't click the summary statistics. This is why he said, what can I do for you, right? You didn't tick the option for summary statistics, right? If I, I need any one of these, but I need now, this is the descriptive statistics. You give me one. Look at this one. This is your study for this one for two weeks, right? Mean, standard deviation, median, mode, all of this one, we are going to study for two weeks. It is done yeah. by just one click, right? Catch it? Okay. So the Excel, you, I will teach you using Excel and I will teach you using uh, Minitab, right? For the assignment, I'm not going to asking you in one way. If you do it by the Excel, that's fine. If you can do it by mini tab, that's fine. But not everything you can do it by Excel. This is a very important notes you have to know, right? This is the point of having a special software for statistics. 